we go, bro. He's on some mountains. I'm looking forward to getting my ass kicked. Is this heaven? Hit rocky. Yeah, this isn't even a road. This will be one of the sketchiest things I've done. Good morning, friends. I'm here in beautiful British Columbia for Grizzbait, a week-long dirt bike riding extravaganza that I might just survive. Let's hope so. I was invited up here by Dallas from Traction E-Rags. Check out Traction E-Rag. It's a magazine, online magazine. It covers all the things that you're interested in, I promise. I'm up here camping out in this glorious, authentic Canadian hot tent with a wood stove and everything. Pretty awesome. It's even labeled appropriately so that you know to whom it belongs. So check out the inside of this thing. Wood stove, lots of wood. Pretty Chopped. Obviously a table, and then I got myself a cot. Brought my enlightened equipment quilt. This thing is massive, bro. It is almost exactly the same as the one I stayed in at that event in Big Bear. So I'm well acquainted with a tent like this, but we're gonna head up to the lodge. Let's go find out what I've gotten myself into. Ready maids all in a row. Look at all these RXs, the Fs for us mere mortals. Welcome. I have no idea how everyone ends up here. I'm Dallas. I am the ringleader of this circus, and uh, circus it is. The week's gonna go by in a blur. So I would encourage you live in the present, soak it all in, all the experiences, uh, because it's just gonna be one crazy blur by the end. It's hard on your body, it's hard on your mind, and the terrain is not easy. We are here to have fun, we're here to ride dirt bikes, and we're gonna be safe. You are on a pretty much 100% rock diet while you're here. If you don't like rock riding, you will by the end of the week. You will learn how to ride rock. Look cool, look cool, look cool. Oh, too late. <laughs> Whoa, this guy knows what's up. We're setting up Ergos for bikes, getting everything right where we want it. Oh, we are here in the field. We are ready. We're rolling out. Everyone's getting on their bikes, getting geared up. There's about 20 of us. One hell of a large group, so. I don't have an internal mic set up today, so there's gonna be a little wind noise, but I don't think we're gonna be hauling ass all day, so it should work, but on the motocross helmet, there's no mic, so deal with it. That goes for you, Matt, as well as the, the viewers. But a lot of red today, that's what I like to see. Hondas in Canada, unbelievably excited, and fortunate, and lucky, and just thankful. Oh, this is my CRF 250F, and uh, you know, you guys, you guys are gonna be shocked to hear this. That's my very first dirt bike. I have never spent extensive time on a dirt bike. And this is a trail bike, it's not a motocross bike, but I'm pretty excited. And also just a little terrified that I'm gonna buy one. So, um, because I'll like it that much. We'll see what happens today and the rest of the week. Today's the, today's the warm up, get used to the bike day. And this is, uh, Oh my god, it feels like my daughter's 125. It's so low to the ground, I feel like I'm on... My daughter is a DRZ 125. Wow. Okay, well, that's a trail bike for sure. But it's so light, it literally feels like Little Dork's DRZ 125. I'm not even kidding. All right, let's do this. It's happening. I forgot to put my goggles on. There we go, bro. Oh man, down the mountains. Damn, bro. Dork in the road, dork in the road. Dork on the ground, dork on the ground, not yet. <laughs> so, it's hard to see, but there's a mountain right here, and right on top of it, there's a tiny black speck. And that is like an obelisk, some kind of, I don't even know, like a monument or a radio. I don't know what it is. I've seen it in the videos. That's where we're going. So it's like an hour, 45 minutes to an hour from here to there. We're going all the way to the top of that mountain in the very background. It's going to be a good day, Tater. And this is the easiest day, so looking forward to getting my ass kicked. I'm riding in the back of the pack on purpose. I just know I'm not the fastest guy here, and that's okay. The name of the game is survival. Confidence, good attitude. It is gorgeous, just absolutely gorgeous. This is unbelievably gorgeous. I have a feeling that like 90% of what we see on this trip is gonna be as good as the best things we have in Oregon. Oh, 
just want to thank Dallas. Did I already thank them? I don't know. Let's thank them again. Dallas and the whole track and the Iraq crew and everyone that's working here at Grizz Bay for this opportunity. Life, trip of a lifetime. Bucket list trip. We've got people here from Romania, a couple dudes from Australia. Uh, it, is, it is truly an epic opportunity that very few people are afforded. And I'm incredibly grateful and thankful. Dallas, by the way. I'm tired of being behind my slow ass. Is this heaven? It's like up in the sky, it's beautiful. I'm lightheaded because of the low oxygen. It might be heaven. I hear singing. Look at this, bro. Wow. This is not even the good I don't, I keep stopping. I keep turning my camera off. Cause I'm like, ah, this is boring. There's way better stuff coming. And I go around a corner and it's something spectacular again. I don't, it's shocking to me. I just, this is ridiculous. There's the group. It's like bike troubles. Ugh. Holy dude. I just, I can't even right now. I can't even right now. You drop her on a rock, eh? Hit a rock, eh? This is not gonna show up on camera, but there's a silverback to marmot right there. Silverback, like a gorilla. That's how you know he's the male. Gorilla marmot. So it's not just a hiking gear company then. This whole time I thought it was. So what uh, the hell can you even do? Is there a hole in it? So it looks like he dropped the rock. I dropped the bike. What? Just whiskey throttle dropped a rock on one of these rocks and uh, there's maybe a hole in the radiator. So uh, there are worse places to make a trail side repair. Damn. Well, uh, Tim, a.k.a. A Satan, is going to ride the damaged motorcycle so that if it explodes and sprays hot cooling on anyone's gonads, it'll be someone that's covered by Canadian healthcare or something like that. Up the mountain. Here we go. would hate that I'm right here. Oh my God. Wow. Wow.
Back at the lodge, got a shower, got changed, and now we're headed in to eat another amazing home cooked meal. This is not some catered Costco shenanigans. We have an amazing cook making amazing food. Quite the experience, this grizz bait. We play hard and we eat hard. I don't know. But anyway, let's get some dinner. I saw that you had like better you than me. You have some readers on your helmet or something? Like a uh, little flip up. Yeah. yeah. You got your wash set and then you got the thing up here. This is the worst shit I've ever done. Fuck, dude. Sucks. I don't know how much of this me panting you want to leave in. Like enough to show that it's hard, but it's just sad after a while. Suffering.